Agatha Christie fans have blasted the BBC for turning the ad adaptation of her book The Pale Horse into an X-rated swear fest. Bloody hell, I don't think they're going to be fans of my podcast then, are they? The Agatha, Agatha, Agatha Christie fans are definitely, I don't think they're the kind of people who are likely to be watching YouTube anyway, so I think I'm safe there. But they, they don't like the swearing in it. I'd be all over um, points of view if I was ever on the TV. Remember points of view where they, uh, I, I think they might still have it on, but where people write in and make complaints about what they've seen on the TV, like they've got some invested, you know, th they've got a right, that, well, it was, <laughs> it's our right and I'm going to tell you that that programme should not have those kind of things in it because people pay the TV licence and they think they've got some kind of rights to it and all that when... Fuck it, that's why I like being on YouTube. I can do what I like, say what I like to the very few people that watch my podcast anyway, or my videos. So, you know, you get what you pay for at the end of the day, don't you? <laughs> you know, there's very uh, limited audience for what I've got, but I'd rather that than fucking be on the BBC and somebody say, don't watch what you say, don't say that, you can't talk about that. Watch, you know, we don't want you slagging off the, the royal family how dare you talk about Boris Johnson that way fuck that um, I don't think anybody's doing me any favours nobody's like they'll come calling one day they'll come knocking don't you worry about that they'll have to, they'll try and be like trying to you know f funk up their uh, TV ratings and that and they're going to need me when, my, when I start hitting the fucking numbers when the millions start following it's only a matter of time. Until then, <coughs> watch this space.